Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Nate's Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel and I post new videos every Wednesday and Friday here including book hauls, book reviews, tags, and things like that. So this is going to be part one of a massively long book haul because my library just recently had their fall book sale and they had such good steals you guys. Um, you could buy fi five small paperbacks for a dollar, five large paperbacks for two dollars, or five hard covers for four dollars. If you didn't want to pay like that, small paperbacks were twenty-five cents, large paperbacks were fifty cents, and then the hard covers were a dollar. I made two rounds. I spent close to seventy something dollars. For no, actually no, spent about forty something bucks um, on all these books, and I have well over fifty books. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off with um the three christian based book based books that i got i didn't get a lot but um this first one is a man of passion and destiny from david it's profiles and character from charles r swindle i like charles swindle his writing is great his um insight is phenomenal so this one is on david king david and um, i'm excited to read that then i got one from stephen furtick and it's son stand still what happens when you dare to ask god for the impossible and then I have The Secret by Rhonda Byron. Um, I own all of her books. I read this multiple times, but I'm excited to have a physical copy of this. So on to the other books. And this book, this haul is going to be all over the place. I'm probably not going to be able to mention exactly what each book is or tell you what every book is about. Because most of them are like older books that came out years back, like 2014, 2015, that I don't remember. But I know that they're books that I really wanted. So let's jump into this. So the first book I have here is from Philippa Gregory. I love Philippa Gregory's writing. I read this when I was pregnant um, and I watched the, it was either the Red Queen or the White Princess. It was what, I don't know which one it was, but they had it on Netflix or was it stars and um i binge watched that when i was pregnant and then i ended up reading this book after i had my son i believe and i loved it they had it at the library now most of the books from the library i took the little plastic off but this one was put on weirdly so i had to leave the plastic on but um yeah it's the white princess from philippa gregory i love this so much and i'm so happy to have a physical copy to mark up and reread so i had that then i found one from jr ward um, oh, and the Philippa Gregory one is obviously historical fiction. It takes place on a Tudor court. So then the next book I have is from J.R. Ward, and it's Rapture. This is an adult paranormal romance. Obviously, I'm going to assume it's about Fallen Angels because it's from the Fallen Angels series. J.R. Ward's writing is phenomenal. I love her writing so much, so I have this book from her. Moving on, let me put these in, onto my lap because I have so many, like I said. I have The Red Glove from Holly Black. If I'm not mistaken, this is book three in her White Cat trilogy. I'm not sure if it's even called the White Cat trilogy. But this is a YA paranormal series, and I'm excited to read this. I only read one book from her, which is The Cruel Prince, but I own all of her books. The Cruel Prince, Cruel Prince just, like, gave me life, so I need to read more of her writing. Um, I have this one from Anne Blankman. Um, it's Conspiracy of Blood and Smoke. I believe this is book two in The Prisoner of Night and Fog. I don't think I've read this one. I know I... I think I read The Prison of Nightfall. I can't remember. But um, this is a YA historical fiction, if I'm not mistaken. Um, moving on, we have Alienated. I read this. I enjoyed it. This is a YA sci-fi romance kind of novel. Um, and I love this so much. It's by Melissa Landers. I enjoyed it. And I'm excited to actually have found a physical copy of it so I can reread it. Because I do want to reread it over. Then we have Passion, which is, I think, book three or four in the Fallen series by Lauren Kate, right? Lauren Kate, yes. Um, I have not read Fallen, but I did see the movie, and the movie was cute. This is a YA paranormal romance based off of Fallen Angels, um, so yeah. Then we have Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. I enjoy this. This is a contemporary romance, YA, and I'm definitely going to be reading this around the winter holiday month. I then have Juliet Marillier's Heir to the Seven uh, Heir to Seven Waters. This is book seven, or I don't even know which book this is in the series. But there are seven books, I think, in the series. No, it says trilogy, but I could have sworn there were more books than three. But um, yeah, I have this. I actually recently just downloaded all of her other books, so yeah, I have this. I'm excited to read it. This is a YA fantasy. Okay, moving on. I don't even know where to go. So I have Enclave by Anne Acquire. If I'm not mistaken, this is a dystopian or just a regular Y, a sci-fi. But this is book one in the Razorland trilogy. Sorry, I had to look at the name. But um, I did want to read this for a long time. Just never got to it. So I have a physical copy to mark up and read. I have Maya Banks for her pleasure. 
this is an adult um, romance. I'm going to say erotic, but it probably is contemporary. But a lot of her writing has a lot of erotic moments in it. So, romance for adults. I then have Jackson Pierce's Sister's Rat. Sister's Rat, yeah. Um, this is a YA paranormal or fantasy or both. Um, paranormal is fantasy, but um, I believe this is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood, if I'm not mistaken. I believe, because there's a wolf hair, you have a sister hair, and another one here. I believe this is a retelling of um, Little Red Riding Hood. I can't remember, it came out a while ago. This one is actually an arc, which I didn't realize this one was an arc, so I paid for an arc. There are two arcs that I know I paid for, which are, the first one is Zodiac by Romina Russell. I know you're not supposed to buy arcs, but it was a library and I didn't mind, so I snagged this one up. This is a sci-fi. I'm going to put this over here. And the other one I paid for is Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhoda Belizia. Um, and I think this is a YA sci-fi as well. I'm going to say sci-fi. So I have Harry Potter. I don't know which book this is. It says year three. I don't know if this is book three, but Spine is beat up. I did find this. It's the Prisoner of Azkaban. They had all the hardcovers, but um, there was a teacher there that basically bought up a lot of books. So I only snagged up one hardcover somewhere in this pile over here. But Harry Potter. I've never read them. Then I have Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I enjoy this. I saw this. Um, so me and my sis each got a copy. I have this cover. She has the other cover style. And then I also got the other three books for her. I bought Frostbite. Let me grab them. So we have Frostbite, which is book two. There's one more book, if I can grab it. Okay. <laughs> so like I said, Frostbite, then we have Shadow Kiss, which is book three. And then I ended up finding book five in hardcover, which is Spirit Bound. So yeah, that. Um, I have 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This is Asher, yeah, Asher. Um, this is a YA contemporary about suicide, so I do want to read this before I watch the show, so I got the book. I have Water for Elephants, which is a adult, I don't even know if this is contemporary or not, but it's an adult novel. I think this is a mystery kind of novel. Don't know, never read it, never saw the movie, so I got it. <laughs> um, I have Charmed by... Michelle Chris, this is a sequel to Hex. I have them on my TBR, and I'm excited to have a physical copy at least of the sequel. Um, this is a YA fantasy paranormal, if you will, is about witches. So, yeah. Then I have two books from the Maze Runner series. I have the sequel, the prequel, I mean, which is the Kill Order from James Dashner, and then I also have the sequel, which is the Scorch Trials. Watch the movie. I watched the first and second movie. I didn't watch the third movie, and I have not read any of the books. So, yeah. Um, I found the duology for The Wrath and the Dawn. So excited, and I love these covers. These covers are stunning. So, we have The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. These covers are stunning. Just so stunning. And then I have The Rose and the Dagger. I actually did love this duology so much, so I'm excited to have a physical copy to read them. Aren't these, like, stunning covers? I feel like I want to do, like, a book-to-makeup look with these. Love them. If you guys don't know, I am a freelance makeup artist, so that's what I do to make money. Okay, books are falling. Let's set them over here. I have The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Um, This is historical fiction. Love it. Just oh, such a profound novel. I love the movie, so I'm excited to have this. I'm going to be reading this around the winter holiday as well because this does take place um, around the Nazi Germany time. And um, I said Nazi Germany time, but yeah, Nazi Germany. And um, it takes place in the winter and it's from the perspective of death. Loved it so much. I have Hyperbole and a Half, which is an adult kind of um, comedy, if you will. I loved it when I read this years ago. I think it was either when I was pregnant or after I had gave birth to my son, I read this and I loved it so much. It is so quirky and funny, and um, the the little pictures are just so cute. They're like they look like a little kid drew them, but it's by a Ali Brosh and it's unfortunate situations, flawed coping mechanisms, mayhem, and other things that happen. So if you're looking for a good laugh, this would definitely be it. I I loved it so much. Then I have The School for Good and Evil, The Last Ever After. Um, I don't know if this is book one or book two. That's a good question. I don't know which if which one this is, so... I'm going to assume this is book one. 
I've always wanted to read them. They also have a spinoff of this, so. No, this is actually book three. Duh. So, um, the the first book is called The Good The School for Good and Evil. The second one is A World Without Princes, and then the third one is The Last Ever After. Um, so I do have the third one, obviously. So I also own them all on um ebook, but yeah, this is book three. This is a middle grade, if I'm not mistaken. Fantasy. Middle grade fantasy. Um, I have Rick Riordan, Son of Neptune. This is fantasy, um, Greek mythology, if you will, and it's book two in the Heroes of Olympus. I have Divergent from Veronica Roth. I've never read the books. I've watched all the movies, enjoyed them. So I figured I might as, might as well get into the books now. Um, so yeah, this is a YA dystopian. I have all three books from the Fifty Shades of Grey. So I've read them all. They're eroticas. They're adult no novels. So I have Fifty Shades of Grey. Seen it, read it. I have Fifty Shades Darker. Seen it, read it. And then I have Fifty Shades Free. I Freed. I read it. I haven't seen it yet, but I do want to reread the trilogy. They're so cute. Um, I have A Discovery of Rich Witches by Deborah Harkness. Um, this is an adult fantasy paranormal, if you will. Um, there's werewolves in this, I believe. There's vampires. There's witches. I know that there is a channel, it's a network called Sky somewhere in Europe, and there they have a show based off of this. I've been able to watch the first two episodes of it. Loved it so much, so I'm so excited to have a physical copy of this so I can mark it up. Some of these books are beat up, but I don't mind them at all. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. It lets me know that they were well-loved. Um, but a lot of them are not. Like, they don't have any writing in them, which is great for me. I have Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Um, I do want to start getting into more adult contemporary, adult thriller, mystery kind of novels. So, this was a small one that they had of hers, so I decided to read this. They also had Gone Girl, and um, I can't remember the name of the other book that she had. But, yeah, I got this one. This is a book that I read in middle school or high school. And um, I've watched it, we've read it, and it's a book that I feel like I need to reread because I love it so much. And if I reread it, I'll watch it. But it's Memoirs of a Geisha. This is such a beautiful book. This is a autobiography, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's so beautiful, so beautiful. Such a beautiful story. I loved it so much. I have Marie Ritu... Tukski, I can never pronounce her name right, but it's The Winner's Curse. Wanted to read this for a minute. I don't know if I did read it or if I didn't read it, but I know it's on a TBR list, so I got the first book of that. And then I also found Dorothy Must Die, and this is also another book that I wanted to read, but I never got a chance to read. So, yeah, a little bit beat up, but it doesn't bother me at all. And this is a YA uh, fantasy, if you will, retelling of obviously Dorothy Wizard of Oz and it's by Daniel Page um the Winner's Curse I can't remember what kind of novel this is I don't remember so I know it's a YA um so okay I'm trying to move along quickly because I have so many books here you guys like it's ridiculous moving on to the next pile that's in front of me so I have The Shack by William P. Young this is where, tra where tragedy confronts eternity um, and they actually made this into a movie, so I wanted to read the book before I read the, um, watch the movie. I don't know what this book is about. My sister just picked up two copies of it for us, um, so we're going to watch it together. It's The Initiation by Chris Babau. I don't know if this is YA or not. I don't know if this is adult. I have no clue. Um, it says, everyone is equal, but no one is safe. In a ruined world, Manhattan is now New America, a walled society based on truth. I'm sorry, based on equality, but the perfect facade hides a dark truth. So this is YA. Um, it says a timid math Greek 16-year-old, a timid math Greek 16-year-old Drayden watches his life crumble when his beloved mother is exiled. So it's kind of like a YA dystopian. We know nothing about this. She saw the cover and she snagged it up. So yeah. Um, I did see Hollow City for the Miss Peregrine's home for. Yeah, Miss Perkins, Peculiar Children. I think I read the first book. I've also watched the movie. I enjoyed the movie, so I have the sequel, so I'm going to read this. And this was a hardback, so I'm excited for that heart. Then I heard about this. This was at the book sale, and I snatched this up. This is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. A lot of people have raved about this. I'll see what I think about it. This is a adult contemporary. We'll see. I think the cover is gorgeous, though. 
Then, going into my fantasy novels, because the first time I went, I didn't find fantasy, and I was determined to find some fantasy. So the second time I went, I found fantasy novels. Um, so I found Patrick Rother Rothfuss, um, The Wise Man's Fear. This is the second, the second book in the King Killer Chronicles. This book is hefty. Oh my gosh, so hefty, but I'm excited to get into this book. Then I have Sabriel from Garth Nix. Um, I don't know which one this is. I, I know it's a long ser series, um, but I do own them all on ebook. But I have a physical copy, and this is a small paperback. Really nice um, copy of it. Then I found one from Brent Weeks. This is Shadow's Edge. This is book two, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And it's the Night Angel trilogy. And I actually do want to start reading them this year or early next year. So I'm excited to have this. So I'm probably going to end up just ordering the other two books in the same kind of style. Um, then I have Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, a novel by Susan Clark. This is an adult novel. If I think it's like magical realism, if I'm not mistaken. The little book I raved about this book recently. So I saw it there and decided to snag it up. Um, I have J.R. Ward, A Lover at Last. I don't know which book this is in the Black Daggerhood Brothers hood because this is a long series. But I know I did love I read the first one. I think I read the second one. Um, so I'm excited to read this and get into it. I'm trying to find places to put these books, you guys. I'm trying not to be so long with these books. Okay, so I have this, which is Christine Fahan, Doc Peril. Um, it's a Carpathian novel. I do have two other ones that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So I'm pretty much collecting them. They're adult paranormal romance novels. Then I have three from Laurel, 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 Laurel K. Hamilton. They're from the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series. I don't know which book there are because it's another one of those series that is excessively too long sorry about that guys um i got interrupted because my son came in um but yeah like i said i don't know which series like what book number this is but it's called skin trade um so i got that and it's adult paranormal if i'm not mistaken it's obviously paranormal this is vampire hunter duh um okay we're gonna just stop that there then i have kiss the dead also from the same series and incubus Incubus Dreams. And you guys see more books here because I have books everywhere. But, um, Incubus Dreams. Incubus Dreams. Okay. I don't want to keep these stacked like that because I don't want books to fall. Alright, so I'm just moving things around so I can keep going because I don't want this video to be super long. I do have a lot of books. Somebody can count and tell me because I don't know. I'll probably put on the screen, like, at the end how many I have. But, um, okay, so then I found Beautiful Chaos by, um, Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I think I have Beautiful Creatures already that I picked up from Dollar Tree, so I figured why not get this as well. YA, uh, Fantasy or Paranormal. Slayers, Friends, and Traitors by C.J. Hill. This is a book that I really wanted to read for a long time. This is a YA... Yeah, this is a sequel, but, um... Urban Fantasy is what it says. It says Urban Fantasy. I was trying to figure out what it was. Um, then I have two books that don't have covers. This one is the Rodal Omnibus. Rodal. And I love Rodal growing up. So, yeah, this is just a collection, I guess you will, of his stories. It's three stories. One. three yeah three of his stories so I have that um, and then I snagged this up it didn't have the cover which doesn't bother me but it's glass ward by uh, Victoria AVR and I, I did recently purchase the fourth book in the uh, Red Queen series so I got this one I don't know if this is the second or third book um, yeah this is the second book so I'm excited to actually have this so we have that no book cover but it's okay um, then we have Death Mark by, a uh, Red Queen series, uh, for this one. The Glass Sword <laughs> by Victoria Aveyard is a YA fantasy? I think it's a YA fantasy. I don't remember, you guys. It's been a while since I read Red Queen. Um, but then we have Leah Cypress's Death Mark, which is the sequel to Death Sworn, and I don't... This is a fantasy. YA fantasy. <laughs> I have so many books here, you guys. So I have two Harry Potter books. Um, um, I have the Harry Potter 
and The Cursed Child Parts 1 and Part 2 by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. I have that. Um, and then I have The Secrets. Uh... The Chamber of Secrets, sorry. <laughs> in hardcover. Um, so yeah. I have books two and three, but I want to get book one so I can read them like that. My books are going to fall, so I'm trying to find where to put these, probably on the floor. I found Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I heard a lot of people rave about this, so I snagged it up while I was there at the book sale. This is a y that was a YA sci-fi, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I have book three in the Divergent Trilogies, which is Insurgent, right? This better be book three, if I'm not mistaken. This is definitely book three, because Allegiant was book two, right? I don't know, but why a dystopian? Um, we have Rebel Angels, which is a sequel, I think. Yeah, to Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Right? Yes, Libba Bray. So, I have yet to read this series. I do want to read it, and I was actually going to make two orders from um, Book Outlet, as well as Thrift Books, to try out. So now I only have to buy one, two of the um, books for this. Born of Illusions by Terry Brown. And Rebel Angels is a YA historical fiction i believe born of illusion i don't really remember what this is it's a ya but i think it's a fantasy or, or paranormal um but it's by terry brown fever by lauren destefano i don't remember what this is but i think this is book three or book two i don't remember <laughs> but it's part of the wither trilogy Sorry, it's the Chemical Garden Trilogy, but this one is Fever. Um, Belzar from Meg Wol Wolitzer. This is a YA fantasy. If I'm not mistaken. YA, you guys, there's so many books here that I can't even keep count. Um, I have Pawn by Amy Kaufman. I'm sorry, Amy Carter. This is book three in the series and I don't think I've read this series from her so it's why a I'm gonna say dystopian but it's probably not um we have a conspiracy of kings by Megan Wallen Wellen Turner and it's from the book thief I believe that series yes and this is book four in that series so yep it's a YA historical fiction um, I have The Fire Wish by Am Amber Lowe. Now, <laughs> I got an arc of this when it first came out years ago. I never got a chance to finish reading it, so they did have a hardcover, and I snagged it up. This is a middle grade or YA, um, but it's fantasy. And Lonnie Taylor did, uh, yeah, it's a YA. So Lonnie Taylor did blurb it. She said, a fantastical, compelling, and romantic read from a shining new voice in YA. This was a YA fantasy about genies and sorcerers, princess. A genie and a princess and a wish. Fantasy. Um, pretty much. I'm almost done, you guys. This video, I don't want to be too long. So I did get the entire thing of um, The Hunger Games. I've seen all the movies and I've read them, so I have Hunger Games. I have Catching Fire. And The Mockingjay. Okay, I cannot pile any more books here. <laughs> Alright, so then I bought four more books from the Blue Blood, is it Blue Bloods series? Yes, the Blue Blood series um, from Melissa De La Cruz. So I have Blue Bloods, Keys to the Repository. I don't know if this was a novella or an actual book, but it's really small, but I have this. I don't know which series, like what book number in the series it is, because there's like six books, so I don't know. I have Misguided Angel. And these are all of YA Paranormal, obviously, about vampires. I have the Van Allen Legacy. Let's see if they tell you which series, like what book order they are in. I wish books would start doing that, tell you like the orders they're in. So, yeah. I think this is book four. And then we have Revelations looks like this then I saw these two books and I was so happy I found the first one on my first round and the second one on my next round well the first one I found 
on my second round and then the second one I found during my first round. So it's the Jacoby. Um, so I have Jacoby by William Ryder, Ritter, Ryder, Ritter. And this is a YA sci-fi mystery type of thingy. I don't really remember, but I know that a lot of people worried about it and I wanted to read it. And I found the second book as well, which is Beastly Bones. I do own all four already on ebook, but there's nothing, there's something about a physical copy. Um, then I found Alexandra Bracken's uh, Darkest Minds the trilogy, but I only found the two books. Um, so I have Never Fade, which is book two. And then book three, which is in the afterlife. There are two other books um, in this series. There's the first one, which is Darkest Minds, and the newest one that they recently came out with not too long ago. And the last pile of books, um, I have The Glass Sentence by S.E. Grove. This is middle grade, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah. I have The Shadow Silence. I mean, sorry. Shadows and the Silence by Courtney Allison Moulton. It's from the Angel Fires trilogy or series. Um, this is the third book, if I'm not mistaken. Because the first one is Angel Fire and the second one is Wings of, Black Wings of the Wicked. So this is book three. I found Midnight Thief by Livia Blackburn. Livia Blackburn, Burn, I don't know. But um, this is um, a book that I really wanted to read for a long time. So I can't wait to read that. The Vicious Deep by Zoradia Cordova. Zor Zoradia Cordova. Um, I think this is the third book in this series. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see if they have it listed with all... No, it doesn't say... I don't remember which book this is in the series. It's a trilogy. I don't know if this was adult or YA. I can't remember. But um, it's about mermaids. So, it's fantasy. <laughs> I have this, which is Salt and Storm by Kenzel Culper. This is YA. I just don't remember if it was fantasy or not. I did find a Lonnie Taylor book, which I was so excited about, and this is one of the books that I wanted to read from her, and it's Lips Touched Three Times um, by Lonnie Taylor. There are illustrations in here done by Jim D. Bartello, and um, you guys, the illustration, gorgeous, 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 and I didn't realize it had illustrations in here, but this, I can't wait to read. I just, I love Lonnie Taylor's writing. I'm a super huge fan of her Daughter of Smoking Bone trilogy. I didn't really care for, um... Strange the Dreamer. I am going to read Muse of Nightmares, though, but we'll see. Um, And then, oh my god, so, I love Jay Kristoff. I love the Nevernight trilogy. It's just Nevernight, God's Grave, and then Dark Dawn, which is coming out soon. Well, next year, ugh, unfortunately. But um, I've always wanted to read his first series, which was The Lotus War. So my sis actually saw this book, and I told her I needed it. I needed to read it. So I'm kind of kidnapping this book from her. Don't tell her. But um, Storm Dancer is the first book in the Lotus War series trilogy, and I'm so excited. I have this now. I just have to just order the, the next two books because I know I'm going to love it. His writing is phenomenal. And, um, yeah, this is... I don't even know how to describe this. Fantasy? Steampunk? It says Japanese steampunk with mystic mythic creatures so i'm gonna say fantasy with a lot of bloodshed kind of something similar to um the nevernight trilogy but different can't wait to read that that's like going to be my first one um then i have this one by patrick ness which is book three in the chaos walking and it's monsters of men okay sorry about that my son came in again but like i was saying um i have Book three in the Chaos Walking Trilogy from Patrick Ness, and it's Monsters of Ben Men. This is another series that I wanted to read. I believe this is a dystopian. It's dystopian or fantasy. I can't remember, but it's definitely YA, and I wanted to read this for a while. And the final book is one that I've read already and I loved, and it's book two in the um, Diviners Trilogy. I think I don't even think it's a trilogy. I think there's four books now. I don't remember. Um, but this one is Liar, Liar of Dreams, Layer of Dreams, I don't know, but it's by Libra Bray. I love her writing, I loved it so much. So I'm happy to have the second book in the series. But um, yeah, so that is everything. I did get some books for my son, so I snagged up A Crown for Ada, which is A Bug's Life, which I love that movie, Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss, as well as Finding Nemo, um, I got a DVD for my son, which is the vintage Mickey Mouse, black and white. Loved it. And then I got a lot of these, like, box sets, if you will, of, like, DVDs. So, this one is The Stars. 
And it comes with Counterpart Power, Outlander, Vita, Sweet Bitter, Survivor's Remorse, Ash vs. Evil Dead, The Girlfriend Experience, and Howard Ends. Two from ABC. And the first one looks like this. And the other one is a box that comes with like little snippets of the shows on DVD format. I have the snippet of 13 Reasons Why. And then the, uh, what is this, YouTube original sampler, which comes with five DVDs, I believe. Um, and the DVDs were free, except for this one. This one was 50 cents. But, um, yeah, I have a total of 38 books you got. I mean, 38. 88 books. 88 books, you guys. Massively insane. I'm probably going to do a pan at the end so you can see like how I have the books right now in my room because it looks insane. And I just bought two new bookshelves, you guys, and my bookshelves are all filled. So I don't know what I'm going to do, and my library sells books all the time, so I'm going to definitely start checking them out a lot more to get me some books because um, I want to, one, support my local library, and two, they're cheaper than anything ever. So I'm definitely going to be placing an order with Book Outlet soon as well as, um, what you call it? thrift books just to try them out i probably order like five or six books from each site to try out um well book outlet i'll probably order more than that because i think it's 35 dollars or more for free shipping and then for thrift books it's ten dollars so i'm probably going to order maybe three books from thrift books to hit the ten dollar mark and then order a lot more from um book outlet for the free shipping but yeah that's pretty much it for this haul you guys i have quite a good amount of books great books and i was not expecting to find but i was hoping to find so i'm gonna organize my bookshelf so i'll probably do a bookshelf tour soon and all but yeah that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay quickly guys here are the books on this desk here books there books are everywhere you guys books are everywhere and a huge stack um so yeah